adore you, God. Lord, you're so wonderful. Oh, God, I know you did it for her, so I'm next in line. Oh, how many of us got to yet pray? God, this ain't the car I want, but I got transportation, oh, God. This is not the house that I really wanted, but, God, I got a roof over my head, oh, God. Lord, you're giving me the money to pay my bills, oh, God. Lord, I thank you, oh, God. See how that turns to a yet pray. See, I got a yet praise embedded inside of me that's telling me to go ahead. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I know that the joy of the Lord my is my strength. When you have a yet pray, there's nothing that's going to separate you from the love of God. Amen. If you could turn to me to Romans 8 and 35. Some of y'all might say, I already know what it says. I'm going to read it anyway because I got the microphone. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> and my security is sitting right here. <laughs> Amen. I got you, sister. Go ahead. Thank you. I know you got me. Amen. I'm going to read this. And I just, oh man, because I had to get water. Y'all know I'm crying. That's okay. <laughs> Let's see what it say. There's not. I'm not. I said I wasn't gonna let nothing separate me That's from the love of God. Romans eight and thirty five says, "I got my pastor. So. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness?" A pearl, a sword. Some of us are going through all of that right now. But are you going to let that separate you from the love of God? I'm not going to let death, nor life, nor angels, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate me from the love of God. You have to embed that in your spirit. I'm not going to let nobody. Why don't you tell your neighbor? I'm not going to let nobody separate me. Separate me. From the the love of God. From the love of God. Separate you from the love of God. You know how sometimes we so hard on ourselves, and we remember when we said this, and we did this, and did that, and then if we do one little thing, we hard on ourselves. I ain't going to church Sunday because I said this. Go ask for forgiveness. God, I'm sorry. Be godly sorry. Don't let nothing separate you from the love of God. I get up here and I speak. Some folks may have known what I did. So what? I'm not going to let nothing and nobody separate me. That's from right. the love of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I want to talk about a couple of characters that God gave me when he was talking about a yet praise. If you turn to Mark 10, 46 through 56, this is, this is one of my most favorite stories in the Bible. I can read it 24 million times and I still love it out of everything that happened, out of everything that God did besides him dying on the cross for me. But this is talking about a blind Bartimaeus. Uh -huh. And he had, he was one with a yet praise. Yeah. If you don't mind, I just want to read it because I know it's going to encourage somebody. It says, and they came to Jericho as he went out of Jericho with his disciples and a great number of people. Blind or tomatoes, the son of tomatoes, sat by the highway side begging. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or we some of us doing it. We Come just on. sitting there begging. Time to put your actions in for He was sitting on the side begging. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, right. he began to cry out, saying, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy, have mercy on me. I'm quite sure he wasn't quiet when he heard Jesus walking by. But he was very loud. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. How loud is your cry? Thank you, Jesus. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, oh, I read that, but I'm going to say it again. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And many charged him that he should hold his peace. But he cries more, a great deal. Yes. The son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stood still and commanded him to be called. And they called the blind man, saying unto him, Be of good comfort. Rise, he calleth thee. He got Jesus' attention. And he, cut, and he, casting away his garment, rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my yeah. sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, yeah. that faith have made thee whole. Yeah. And immediately, he didn't say yesterday, he said immediately. Uh -huh. Some of us need a 
immediate blessing. Yeah. Immediately. Yeah. Immediately yeah. he received his sight and followed Jesus in that. Yeah. 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 Yeah.